Journal record editor Ted Struley joins us to discuss other stories making news in business this week. Ted, the downturn in the oil patch is also bad news for many children in the state. Why is that? Well, we came across a report that shows pretty clearly that there's a direct link between unemployment and child abuse, and particularly when a lot of young men are unemployed. We talked to some experts in the field who told us that they, uh, in emergency rooms especially, they see a lot of children who have either been abused or neglected because they've been left at home, a lot of times maybe with a boyfriend or a young father who doesn't have the greatest parenting skills. We know that a lot of the oil patch layoffs affect young men, so some doctors are concerned we're going to see a spike. Oil companies aren't the only ones laying off employees, though. No, they're not. Uh, Hertz Rent-A-Car this week announced that they will be closing their Tulsa office, which uh, will affect about 80 positions there. They're also going to be cutting 255 jobs in the Oklahoma City office. A few of those will be replaced by call center jobs. Most of the jobs being lost are in IT. Wind power is still growing in Oklahoma, but there's a problem with transmission capacity. What's going on? Well, that's right, and really, wind is growing so fast. In fact, at some 50 per, 56% uh, last year, and they think a similar pace for this year, they just can't build the transmission lines fast enough to keep up with that to get all that electricity onto the grid, so they're looking for a way to get those in balance. The new interim director for the State Corrections Department has made unannounced visits to several prisons. What did he find? Well, he didn't find anything uh, very good. Jim uh, Alspa uh, is back here. He's originally from Blackwell, Oklahoma, and as he visited the state, he found uh, bad conditions, overcrowded prisons, uh, understaffed, underpaid okay. uh, prison employees. He says that we are not at all prepared to take on the anticipated thousand additional inmates that will be uh, entering those prisons this year. So a lot of people are very concerned. And what are you working on for next week, Ted? Uh, we're looking at a report that suggests that some Oklahoma schools that are outside of tax increment financing districts may not be getting as much money as they should be thanks to a quirk in the state's formula. Ted Struley with the Journal Record, thanks for being with us. My pleasure.